Stephen, well done. A real bass light there, but you managed mm. to get over the line and get the win. How did you feel about your performance there? Um, there was lots of stuff to be encouraged by. Um, I thought uh, my long game was, was pretty good, um, especially in the first half of the match. Um, you know, I, I queued quite nicely on occasions, um, which is what, what I'm after. You know, I'm working obviously very hard with Stephen Feeney and um, on the technical side of the game, and, it, and it's getting better, better every day. Um, but obviously lacking a bit of match composure probably you know my highest break was only 47 um, I mean you consider the openings that I create for myself that's obviously not good enough to compete with the, the, the best players yeah, you gave a very honest assessment of your performance when you got knocked out of the world championship in the, in the qualifiers after that loss to GC and you you know you admitted that there needed to be improvements have you, do you feel the work you put in over the summer and, and you know do you feel in a, a better position now yeah I mean I haven't played a lot through the summer really I mean I, I, I was I was planning to but just it's golf took over as it has done with many people um, uh, but I pretty much played every day this month I'm um, leading up to this uh, whether it be an hour or two hours I've, I've, pretty, I've been in area every day playing so um, and I've had three or four sessions with Steven so to say what we're doing is it's getting better every you know it's, it's, a, it's a work in progress I'm still a long way behind these guys um, um, but you know I'm enjoying the process you said when you came back that one of the things you were looking forward to was playing in front of a crowd and obviously mm. the circumstances over the last couple of years has, has took that away from you at the end mm. of last season it was a big crowd out there tonight mm. did you feel a real a adrenaline rush playing in front of yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, that was one of the main reasons for, for, for wanting to come back and compete was to experience what I experienced tonight um, it was magnificent um, obviously we, Chris and I sort of got advantage from Mark Selby's you know, full, full crowd support of Mark and um, and it was, it was tremendous to play in front of a, an audience again. It really was. I uh, really enjoyed it. And it took us a while last season to see your first appearance. So what, what can we expect this, this time around? Are you going to play a bit more this season? I'm certainly going to play more than I did last season. I'm, I'm not saying I'm going to play in every single event. Um, that wasn't the aim when, with a comeback, was to be a full-time player again. Um, it was to pick and choose events and, and play the ones that, you know, I'm, you know I, I think I still need time, plenty of time in between events to sort of work on my game, to work on my technique. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see, see how it goes. And you said the ultimate aim in this comeback is to try and get back to the Crucible. Mm. Do you feel in, in a good position that perhaps, you know, come, come next year when we're going around to qualifiers again, that you, you could be in a position to have it mind to go at it? I, I would hope with the sort of match experience I'm hopefully going to gain, gain this season that I'll have, I'll certainly be in a better position next year than I was this time round at the World Championship. There's no doubt about that. Um, but whether it's you know, next year or the year after, you know, I'm not put in a time limit because that would be stupid um, but it's it's the it's the the long time goal let me say to, to, to play again at the Crucible and Gary Wilson or Fergal O'Brien up next this yeah. week how much are you looking forward to getting back out there again yeah yeah can't, I can't wait I mean um, whether I'll be on, on the match table again I don't, it remains to be seen but um, I'm just delighted to be into the next round um, we shut Ken up because he's been crowing all the time about being in the next round but um but yeah, it doesn't matter who I play. See, it really doesn't. Um, it's just all about me, you know, the process I'm going through and, and, and trying to improve my game. Well, make sure you get through and we can maybe see you and, get you and Ken in the next round. <laughs> Cheers.